According to Marjorie Greene, she has been swatted again and again and again and again and again and again. Six times apparently actually, she says she was swatted for the sixth time just last night. This would be as of Tuesday night, I think maybe Monday night. So swatting is a very serious crime. The caller wants to have their victim murdered by police. But it is also a giant abuse of police resources and time, which is another reason it is a serious crime. God bless my local police. Well, first of all, I'm glad to see her saying God bless my local police. Presumably the local police aren't standing between her and a democracy she wants to overthrow. And so she is not beset by a bloodlust and wants to kill them with her bare hands. So that's good news. I also, by the way, agree with her on all of her other points. It is a giant abuse and waste of police resources. It is a very serious crime. Nobody should be swatting anyone, including people that we disagree with as much as we're physically capable of disagreeing with anyone or anything. Don't swat Marjorie Green, don't swat anyone. I will add though, that she has now had an experience of this. She knows how bad it can be, how terrifying it can be. She is still technically a congressperson. Why not use this to raise swatting? as an issue nationally to actually turn take this terrible thing that's happening to you and that hopefully should stop and turn it into something productive and positive <laughs> where you try to get a law passed that makes it less likely for this to happen that makes it so that there might be some sort of unified list of phone numbers where people who are being routinely swatted including political streamers can be protected from this routinely happening to them again and again the onus is not on her to do this but just like her talking about how Solitary confinement is bad when it happens to the January 6 people. You have an opportunity to show that you don't just care about yourself or someone who agrees with you, that you actually see an injustice and will work to correct it. This is an amazing opportunity for this for that, Marjorie Green. We'll see if she takes it. Yeah, what do you she think? She can't take it because it's not about her. As you I think you pointed out pretty clearly there. The whole idea is that it's about her. You said take it nationally. Think about other people that this happens to. That will require her to get outside of her own brain and not think this is all about her or about her political aspirations. Continuously about her. You know what? There's a there's mm -hmm. there's a problem with people calling the cops on folks that aren't doing anything. Many times they're black folks and they yep. go, let's just call the cops on them. And then when that comes, does she complain about their wasted resources? Does she care about the fact that cops come up many times? shoot these folks without asking any questions and believe the other person's story and arrest people many times children. Does she care about any of that stuff when she's talking about how there's a problem? She cares about it when it's her problem. Yes, and I agree, 100%. stop swatting Marjorie Taylor Greene. Exactly, yeah, yeah, you're right. Those Karen calls are effectively swatting. You know, it's in public, I guess, but it's just as bad, just as dangerous. And they say it openly anyway. half the time. They go, I'm gonna get the cops here and they're gonna do this and that to you, they know it. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.